the slots that the plexiglass will sit in. This will be the bottom of the frame to hold the plexiglass. I only have myself here today to film, so this side's already done. I took some scrap pieces of plexiglass and stacked them too tall along the bottom here. And then I put a paint stick under here so that it's always going to keep it spaced that way. And I just brad nailed it in. So it's a nice, fairly snug, but easy to get in and out section that's going to get blocked by these nails that I uh, made sure that we're all the same height. So it should sit nice and flush inside of that slot. This is just a test fitting of the plexiglass. It fits in there nice and snug. I'm quite pleased with that. It's very level. Time to build around the sides. Next I cut out a couple 2x4s. We measured the height that we wanted the bottom of the glass to be at. And then that's the space for the glass. And we're just gonna square it up, glue it, and screw it. Alright, I wasn't able to film too much of this because I was just going at it, but we've got the backing for the plexiglass. I just uh, lifted these 1x4s up by another and some cardboard to match the height of the 2x4 there. Just nailed everything in and then I'm going to go back over it with screws and also it's glued. So it should all be nice and sturdy but we'll just make it extra sturdy and we can start putting the things that are going to clamp it on. Next I'm going to take these little brackets and that's going to be what sandwiches that in there to slide in. But I don't want it to be super tight against it when I screw it, so I'm just going to give a little bit of extra space. It's not meant to hold it completely snug, it's just meant to hold it in the general position. So I'm going to put an extra piece of fiberglass while I screw these on. And that's just going to be matched up with these marks that I made a third of the way up of that wood. I just wanted to take a minute to appreciate this weird shaped screw. The head on it, it's all deformed. thought it was worth putting in the video and using in the project. Alright, glued, stapled, and screwed the feet on and it's pretty stable. I also felt that it was swaying a lot this way so I added just a couple of bars there to help stand it up. And it's pretty sturdy now so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off some glue and start painting. I've put the glass in plexiglass and remove the plastic from it so it's nice and clear and you can already see it is reflecting things over there. So the reflection is going to work it seems. It looks pretty unscratched for now. It cracked a little bit as I was... Actually that's just the plastic that still needs to be removed. There are some places where it cracked while I was cutting because I actually just have to cut a little bit off of the side and if you've ever cut plexiglass that's a process basically scrape with a special tool over and over again for a long time and then break it off. Kind of find that tool so I used a razor blade which is ironic because I have two of those tools who needs two plexiglass cutter tools but I couldn't find either of them. I'm quite pleased with the fit. I'm uh, just clamping it at the top. And it's gonna work out pretty well I think.